Graphing Enlargements, Lesson 10.2a. When a dilation in the coordinate plane has the origin as the center of dilation, we can find points on the dilated image by multiplying the x and y coordinates of the pre-image by the scale factor. For scale factor k, the algebraic representation of the dilation is the x and y values will map to the scale factor k times that first value, the x, and the k scale factor times the y value. And for enlargements, k, the scale factor, will be greater than 1. Given the coordinates of a vertex of a preimage and the scale factor k, we can find the corresponding vertex of the image. So we know that we have our x, y coordinates, and it'll map to k multiplied by x and k multiplied by y, whatever k is, whatever that scale factor is. So if we know a vertex a is 4 for x, 1 for y, and we know that k, the scale factor, is 2, we would do 4 times 2 and 1 times 2. That would give us a prime, which would be 8 for x and 2 for y. Here we have a figure on the grid. This is the pre-image, and the center of dilation is the origin right here at 0, 0. We've got a table, and we have pre-image, and that's going to be our x, y values, and each of the vertices. And then we have our image, and it says 4x and 4y. We list the coordinates of the pre-image into the first column. So a is at negative 2, 2, b is at 2, 2, c is at 2, negative 2, d is at 0, negative 1, and e is at negative 2, negative 2. And the scale factor is given in the heading of this second column. We know it's 4. We apply the scale factor to the coordinates of the pre-image to get the coordinates of the image. So we're going to do 2 times 4, which is 8, and 2 times 4 is 8 for y. Then we're going to do 2 times 4, which is 8, and negative 2 times 4, which is a negative 8. Watch your signs. A negative times a positive makes a negative. Then we have 0 times 4, which remains 0, and we have negative 1 times 4, which is a negative 4, and then we have negative 2 times 4, which is a negative 8, and we have a negative 2 times 4 again, which is negative 8. We have the coordinates for our image. Now we draw the image from the coordinates in the second column. We can draw a prime, b prime, c prime, d prime, and e prime, the image is four times greater than the pre-image. We can see the shape and orientation of the image are the same as the pre-image, but the size is different. The distance from the origin to a vertex of the image is four times the distance from the origin to the corresponding vertex of the pre-image. So from the origin, 2b prime is four times the distance than from the origin to b. The radius of a circle is a line segment with one endpoint at the center of the circle and the other endpoint on the circle, or the length measure of that segment. If we dilate a circle, like this blue circle, by a scale factor of 2, so k would equal 2. The length of the radius would be multiplied by 2. The radius length would double. It would go from 4 units to 8 units. That means the diameter would double because the diameter goes from one side all the way across to the other side, doesn't it? The diameter goes across the circle through the center point from one side to the other. The dilation scale factor k will affect each line segment of a figure by making it longer, an enlargement, or shorter, 
a reduction than the original line segment. The scale factor K is multiplied to the X and Y coordinates of the pre-image to find the X and Y coordinates of the image. Dilations affect the size of an image while preserving the shape and orientation. Angle measures will be the same for a pre-image and an image. If we have triangle ABC and we dilate it and make it larger and have A prime, B prime, C prime, if we measure the angles of ABC, we'll get the same measures for the image A prime, B prime, C prime. The angle measures will be the same, but we know the side lengths got longer. It's the same shape and same orientation. We're finished with part A. We're going to move on to the second part B, graphing reductions. So remember, when the scale factor K is greater than 1, we have an enlargement. When it's less than 1, we have a reduction. Have a great day and join me for part 2. Bye.